All right, Shalom. This is the brother Mayum coming at you from GMS Tampa Bay. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Much blessing and salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the earth <clears throat> who are diligently pushing out his truth and his truth and sincerity. All right, so uh, I just want to do a quick video here on this uh, this one game. As you can see here on the top uh, left corner, um, all right, you can see the name of the game. And this is actually one of the endings um, of the, well, well you, you'll see it has a couple endings, but uh, this is one particular ending. Um, I actually own the game, which is what spurred this, uh, uh, you know, uh, spurred me to do this, uh, to do this video. Um, but, um, you know, this is one very, <laughs> this is one very spiritual as game, you know, which is one, um, one of the reasons what, uh, made me want to get this game. And, um, it's, uh, you know, it's very spiritual, as I said, and as you're going to see, this is the ending of the game. And, um, it was very spiritual, very, very spiritual. Um, but we're going to play uh, some of this video. We're going to skip uh, a couple parts. Uh, it's just a couple little uh, little fight scene at the end here that we got to go through. Um, but just so uh, so you can go ahead and get to it. Um, basically, uh, throughout this game, you know, uh, they, they, they're they bringing out precepts. This guy that you see here on the screen with the, the tattoos on him. All right. Um, he's basically a uh, cultist, as they call him. All right. He's a... Uh, He's a really, when you really analyze the game, he's really a prophet of Yahweh Hashim Shai. You know, that's what he's supposed to represent. You know, and they, Esau, you know, Esau got to, got to, um, you know, make the, make the good guys seem bad. And matter of fact, let me get that scripture real quick because, you know, as we're going to see, um, you know, this guy is made to, made out to be, to, um, He's made out to be um, some bad guy, you know, and that's that's nothing new, you know. It's it's um it's been throughout the history, you know, the history of the world, you know, and it's uh, it doesn't come as a surprise to anybody. Uh, but real quick, um, let me get this precept. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter five and verse twenty. It says, "Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil." That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. All right. So in this game, like I said, this guy right here that you see with the the yellow sunglasses. All right. They make him seem out to be this bad guy. He's a cultist. And basically, throughout the game, um, as you play the game, basically what this guy does is uh, he he's rounding people up and he's basically converting people. He's trying to uh, ha um, make people repent of their sins. All right, as you can see on his tattoo, kind of underneath that bird over there to the left, um, right directly under my face, you can see it's, um, it looks like it's a sloth. All right, now throughout his whole body, you know, he has all these different uh, types of sins written on him, on him, which, you know, they Esau got to make you look, you know, make the prophets look bad and everything like that, you know. But nonetheless, what this guy does throughout the game is uh, try to convert people from sins. He's basically trying to prepare people for the for what's coming. You know that's what he keeps saying. You know as you go throughout the game is um, you know that the the great collapse is coming. That's what he says throughout the game. And really, what I want to na uh, name this video is Esau knows about the missiles. All right, because as you're about to see, that's exactly what is portrayed. And you know this like, hey man, it, it's is really. It, it, I was really at a loss for words when I seen this, you know, when I seen this last uh, ending scene. It was it was really amazing um, how clear Esau portrays this um, the the scriptures, you know, because it's it's clear and evident that Esau knows first and foremost who Babylon is. All right, what 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 place is Babylon and the end destruction? All right, so without further ado. Um, I'm going to get um, a quick preset real quick to hold, and then I'm going to play this video. All right, um, so. All right, so let me play this video, and just, uh, I'm going to stop it as it goes, and uh, we'll, we'll go through with that.
Lord willing, we don't get plagued. And when the Lamb broke the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of the martyrs. In the scripture that he's reading, this is uh, Revelation chapter 6 and verse 9. All right, so he just said, um, And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls. And this is Revelation uh, chapter 6 verse 9. And when he had opened this fifth seal, I saw under the sun the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High and for the testimony which they held. All right. So this is the precept that this, this guy here is, is uh, quoting. Slain because of the word of God. You made martyrs of my family. And I am prepared to do the same to yours. judge us on what we choose in this moment you see he said god is watching us you know <laughs> and the most high is watching us man all right does the scriptures say the the eyes of the lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun let me pull that up real quick all right you see and this is this is this is this is really a real spiritual uh video game you know i know it's a video game and all that you know and you know i just so happened to uh get to the point to where I finished this game. You know, this game's been out actually since last year in March, which I'm actually surprised that there hasn't been any videos done on this. You know, I understand, you know, you know, we, we got a lot of other things to worry about. Um, but uh, let me get this real quick. This is uh, Sirach, the book of Ecclesiasticus. All right, or otherwise known as Sirach, chapter 23 and um, verse um, 19. It says, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of man and considering the most secret parts. All right, so the Most High is always watching, man. All right, the Most High sees every single thing that we all do. All right, so let's continue with this video. And like I said, I'm gonna, um, I'm getting ready to uh, start skipping a little bit. Uh, to, so just bear with me, cause each is gonna, it's gonna be basically just a fight scene that's getting ready to come up. Um, so just bear with me. I told you that we were living in a world on the brink. You see what he said? He said, "I told you we're living on the world." We're living in a world on the brink. And that's exactly what's happening, man. We're living on the edge of the cliff, man. The cliff of this world. All right, real quick. Let me get uh, this one quick precept. And this is all through the spirit, man. This is, you know, this is this is truly, like I said, this. And I sent this video to a brother last night. And he was like, wow, that was intense, you know. You know, we kind of spoke on it a little bit. But, um, <clears throat> um. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, and I'm just start at 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrow. So basically with Yahweh Shai, all right, because when you, when you go into that chapter, this was Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. This was him talking to his disciples and telling him the signs of the end of the end times. All right. So basically this little bit that we read here is basically the brink of, of that, 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 that collapse, man. And you know what this guy, this gentleman that you see on the screen here, I, you know, I call him a gentleman, but because <laughs> really he's, he's a representative <laughs> of the truth. You know, you really look at it with a spiritual eye and you're going to see that this is, this guy is tr actually a prophet of Yahweh Shem Shai when you actually look at it, but they make him out to see the bad guy. And it goes to show you that this is all propaganda, you know, all propaganda to, to, to Esau 
and to showing that the prophets are actually bad people because people will play this game, you know, and uh, they'll see this guy and they'll be like, oh man, this guy's crazy. This guy's nuts. You know, he's a he's a lunatic. You know, he's he's talking all this and that. And as you're gonna see what actually happens at the end, you're really gonna think this guy's a lunatic if you don't have the spirit on you. All right. So, um, like I said, you know, we in that we in end times and we see these things. Like I got this read in Matthew 20, uh, 24. We see these things happening around the world. You know, you you just uh, we just heard uh, Donald Trump send a, an extra thousand troops out there to to the Middle East because of the tensions rising in Iran. That's the rumors of wars that we hear about. All right, you hear rumors of wars within uh, Venezuela. You hear rumors of wars with uh, with um, Syria. You hear rumors of wars with Russia. All right, it says. Um, what else did it say? It says, for nation shall rise against nation. That's that's the That goes along with the wars and rumors of wars. It says, in kingdom against kingdom. Well, that's the kingdom against kingdom, but the nation against nation, that's talking about these races. All right, you see the whites versus the black. Well, the so-called whites versus the so-called blacks. You see the so-called whites versus the so-called Mexicans. That's nation versus nation. All right? And it says, and there shall be famines, and we see famines happening. All right? Right now, here in America, you have... Um, out there in the Middle East, in the not the Middle East, the uh, the Midwest. All right, a lot of these farmers, they're being um, their 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 crops are being destroyed by all these storms that have been happening by the floods. Okay, all these um, these floods have been destroying a lot of the crops. All right, which ultimately, at the end of the day, there's going to be a famine. All right, there's going to be famines that come here to America along along with these tariffs. That Donald Trump is putting on the agricultural goods that these other countries buy, such as soy, all right, which uh, predominantly goes out to uh, China. All right, China's not really buying that type, that amount of soy as they used to from America anymore. So these farmers are having to sit on it in their silos, and, and you know, it's, it's going to ultimately lead to to, um, to that famine. All right, so it says in pestilences, and we see the pestilences happening around the earth. All right, we got the measles outbreak. I believe a brother or an, uh, an elder, Salakia, sent out an article earlier today. He said that there's uh, the, the count of measles outbreak. All right, it's up to 1,044 uh, people infected with the measles here in America. All right, it's, uh, I believe it said also that it was in 28 states. All right, you also got the Black Plague coming back again. All right, you got all these sexual, sexually transmitted diseases coming back up again. It says in earthquakes in diverse places. And just yesterday, you had actually a um, an earthquake happen off of the coast of um, New Zealand, if I'm not mistaken. And then earlier today, uh, you had an earthquake happen in northern Japan and also stirred and hap made, uh, caused a uh, tsunami in that uh, northern region of Japan. So we're living in the last days, man. All right, we're living in the we're living in like this guy said in the video, we're living in that brink uh, of of the of, uh, of everything, man. Which that brink is that fall, all right, that collapse. Okay, so let's continue with this video, and then I'm gonna skip a few, and then we'll get back to the video. For every slight, every injustice, for every choice reveals our sins. And he said, every every choice reveals our sins. You know, and, and and the man of sin is being revealed as we speak. You know, by everything that he does, every little thing that the that the Edomites do, you know, every policy that they pass, everything that they do as far as um, you know, as far as cops and and all these um tensions that are being risen here in, in the country and around the world, you know, is is being is being revealed. Every choice that they make, everything that they do is being revealed, their sins are being revealed. You know, as 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 well as the two thirds, man, and these wicked scribes and Pharisees, all right, all these things that these um, that these um, that these guys are doing, these 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 bug outs, is being revealed that they're 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 wicked, man, all right. And you see, this is this is spiritual, man. This what this what these um, these game creators put into this game this is very all. This is all very spiritual, whether they know about the scriptures or not. You know, it was all through the spirit. <laughs> Where have those sins led us? Where have those sins led you? Your friends have been taken and tortured. And it's your fault. Mm -hmm. Countless people. 
That's funny. He said, the world is on fire and it's your fault. All right. And right here at this part in the, in the, in the, um, in the game, all right, that, that fire that he's talking about is spiritually. All right. This, this, the, the world is spiritually on fire right now, man. You got all types of chaos happening around the, the earth, man, because of Esau, man, you know, because in this video game, you really, you're playing this, this police officer, you know, um, and so really that police officer is a representative of Esau, man. Okay. So it, it, this, the, the Esau, the re, Esau is the reason why all these things are happening around the earth, man. All right. Esau is the, the, the reason why these things are happening, man. All right. Ultimately is because the, the, the Lord Yahweh ordained it, but it's Esau that the Lord is using to do all these things around the earth, man. So this, the earth is spiritually on fire right now. All right, but let's continue. Was it worth it? Was it? Was it worth it, you said? When you're going to realize that every problem cannot be solved with a bullet. You see? And that's a cut. That's a cut. I mean, that's, that's, that goes to show you exactly who this man is spiritually talking about, man. He's talking about Esau. He said, when are you going to learn that not every problem can be solved with a bullet? And who was the sword given onto? Let's get there real quick. Because a bullet is used what? In a gun. And that is the modern day sword. All right. The sword is nothing but an instrument of death. And a gun is an instrument of death. So let's, who, let's see who got that blessing of the sword. All right. And... Um, This is, um, uh, this is Genesis chapter 27, and I'm going to start at um, verse 34. It says, And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also my father. And he said, Thy brother Cain, his brother being Jacob, came with subtility and had taken away thy blessing. Verse 36, and he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob or Yaquab in the Hebrew? For he hath surplanted me these two times. And that's what that's what Yaquab means, surplanter. All right. He took away my birthright and behold, now he had taken away my blessing. And he said, Has thou not reserved a blessing for me? Verse 37, it says, And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his son, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lift up his voice and wept. All right. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Verse 40, and this is, this is the point. But by thy sword shall thou live and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, and Esau has the dominion right now, all right, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck, all right? And Esau did that during the, uh, in, in a couple of times, man. All right, he did that um, after King David, and he did that during the time of the Renaissance, man. All right, but like this guy said, here in Genesis chapter 27, verse 40, it said, And by the sword shall thou live. And this guy here in the video game, he said, When are you going to learn that not every problem is going to be solved with a bullet, man? And that's all Esau does. Every time there's a problem, what does Esau do? He sends his police officers. He sends his, his, his military out to fix the problem, man. All right. And that's what's causing all these problems in the earth, man. There's nothing but death and chaos. And the people of the earth are starting to, to, to rise up against this, man, because they're sick and tired of the people getting killed out on the streets, man. All right. So let's keep on. When you first came here, I gave you the choice to walk away. All right. So I'm going to skip forward a little bit because he doesn't really give a. Well, actually, let me play just a little bit more. 
and then once the scene changes, I'm going to fast forward it. You chose not to. In the face of God, I'm making you that offer. One last time. You put down your guns. You take your friends. You leave me my flock. Now you see, now you see the guy here on the far right. You see what he said. The the chick said, "Are you insane?" And this guy on the far right, he says, "Izzy, we never should have been here." Here in the first place, you know what to do, bro. And that's the gentleman over here. Bro. So this is the point where we get the option to choose the ending, the ending of the game. You know, we're going to skip a little bit or we're going to see this next few seconds because he's going to quote a little bit more of the scriptures and then I'm going to fast forward it to get to the point. quick he said john was wrong that's actually one of his family members at the beginning of this video when he first started talking he said you made martyrs of my family he had one two three he had three different family members and the names of his family members one of them was john the other one was jacob and the third one was faith that's a, just a, a quick side note just to show you how very how spiritual this game really is all right so here he said Jacob was or John was wrong your sin your sin is not wrath sin is not wrath so you'd rather watch the world suffer and burn than swallow your pride You see what he said he said you would rather see the world let, let's go back a little bit your it. sin is not wrath so you'd rather watch the world he says, you would rather watch the world suffer and burn. Or suffer and burn and swallow your pride. Than, than to swallow your pride, man. And that is that is 100% Esau, man. All right, let's 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 get that in the book of Obadiah. All right, thy, thy pride has deceived thee. All right, Esau, Esau is so prideful. That he he doesn't want to admit that he's wrong and that he's the devil and that what he's doing around the earth is, is is completely wicked. He doesn't want to admit that, so he would rather see the world burn, which is what's going to happen. The world is going to burn. The earth, as you know, is going to get burned via nuclear missiles, <clears throat> Salakia. And as you're going to see, that's what's going to that's what's about to happen here in this game, man. All right, so let's get this real quick. This is uh, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 1. It says, The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Verse 2, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And that's talking about Esau, man. You are greatly despised among the heathen, man. The heathen look at you with disdain, man. All right. Verse 3, and this is the point. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. And like the Apostle Gabor did a video, um, I don't know if it was earlier today or late last night, but America, uh, he did a, uh, he went into Google and he typed in the, the most populous um popular country in the world and obviously america popped up and so he went into i believe it was this scripture if i'm not mistaken and it says thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks and america is known for the skyscrapers all right 
and it says, Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. Which when you go into that word Caucasian, all right, it means cave dweller. All right. It goes back to the Caucasus Mountains. All right. And even when you go into the land of Edom, and when you uh, specifically go into Petra, you see that Esau, Edom, they used to live in the mountains, in the rocks. All right. They used to build their cities into the rocks. All right. And, and to this very day, that's exactly what Esau does. All right. He builds these skyscrapers. All right. And he makes these uh, these buildings and they live in them, man. All right. They even do business in these buildings, man, in the clefts of the rocks. All right. So it's clear and evident who, who this is talking about. But at verse three, it says the pride of thy heart has deceived thee. And that's the point that I wanted to make because he said here, you would rather watch the, bro, the, the world suffer and burn than to swallow your pride, man. And that's exactly that. That's to a T talking about Esau, man. All right. And the lamb broke the sixth seal and lo, there was a great earthquake. All right. So he said, <laughs> now he goes back to the scriptures. Let me uh, let me go reverse a little bit. He goes back to the scriptures and uh, real quick, I'm going to play this um, this uh, scene again. Uh, but let's real quick, let's go and get this on deck. This is going to be Revelation chapter 6 again. Just so we know where he's at. Uh, or the scripture that he's quoting. This is Revelation chapter 6 and verse 12 revelation chapter 6 and verse 12 this is what he's getting ready to quote so let's play this video and you're going to listen to him and you're going to start to see what starts to happen around and then we're going to go into this verse 12 and we're going to break it down real quick to see what is this talking about all right and the lamb broke the sixth seal and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became All right, so as you saw what he said, you know, we're going to read it again. Um, it's getting, the scene is getting ready to change. This is the part where I'm getting getting ready to fast forward. But let's break this scripture down that he quoted. All right, let me pull this up. So lock you. This is uh, Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. And it says, And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the moon became as blood. And let's continue reading to get the understanding of this. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Verse 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. So what is this talking about? This is talking about the nuclear missiles coming down upon earth and as you as we saw here in the scene all right you could start seeing the uh, the destructive wind all right coming here let me it's play it earthquake. The destructive and, the wind coming. and the sun became black because of why because of the the nuclear missiles the nuclear missiles causing i need to take this phone off so like um i need to take it off of uh Windows right there. But it said, let, let's read what he just said. He said, verse, this is uh, verse 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, all right, caused by those nuclear missiles. All right, because when those nuclear missiles hit, there's going to be a very great earthquake. If you, if you, if you don't think that there is, then you, there's something wrong with you. All right, and it says, and the sun became black as sackcloth. Why? Because of the, the, the smoke going up, covering the skies. And it says, and the moon became as blood. The same thing, man. Okay? And it says, and the stars of heaven fell onto the earth. All right? Even, and those stars is talking, and this scripture is talking about the nuclear missiles. All right? And it says, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And when you go into that fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when those figs fall off the tree, they fall in a curve, they have a, a curve to their fall. All right, they fall with it with a curve and when those nuclear missiles when they get launched and they start to come up and they hit their peak and then they start to come down it's a curve okay that's the arc that the that the missiles make when they get launched okay verse 14 it says in the heavens departed or the heaven departed as a scroll 
when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places, man. All right, and that's clear as day. That was the same thing that was spoken of in Isaiah um, chapter 34, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if uh, this is it. Um, Isaiah 34 and verse 4. It says, in all, well, let's, let's start at verse 3. Isaiah 34. Well, let's start at verse uh, 2. Right, let's start at verse 1, Salakia. Isaiah 34 and 1. It says, Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon nation, all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. Talking about that World War III, which is getting ready to come to the planet earth. Verse 3, their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And this is the point right here, to tie it in with the um, with the Revelation 6 and 14. And all the hosts, this is verse 4 in Isaiah 34, verse 4, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall shall be rolled together as a scroll and all their house shall and all their house shall fall down as a leaf fallen from the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree man so again this is talking about a nuclear missile man and as we're getting ready to see in this video when you see a nuclear missile when you see when you see the explosion and you see that 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 um the after effect the plume going up is as a scroll coming up it goes up in the middle in the the outer clouds it kind of goes up like that and comes up in the middle all right just like a scroll being rolled together all right so we're gonna skip a little bit here in this video and um we're gonna get back to it all right so let me uh just fast forward here all right because as you can see it's just a bunch of fighting this is actually some gameplay that you go through you got to fight the guy and all that let me just fast forward. All right, so this is the part right here. Now pay attention to this last part here. This is the point of my lesson. This, this is actually showing you that Esau knows that what these scriptures are actually talking about are the nuclear missiles, man. All right, this is these scriptures are talking about the ICBM missiles, man. What the scriptures are talking about, what we're reading here in Obadiah or Salak, what we're reading here in Revelation, what we just read in in, in in Isaiah, man. This is talking about nuclear missiles, man. And you're about to see firsthand that Esau Edom knows that that's exactly what these scriptures are talking about, man. All right, so let's go. Seventh seal. Okay, so now he said in the when the lamb opened the seventh seal, um this is the part of Revelation chapter eight, verse one. Alright, so this is Revelation chapter eight, verse one, what he's quoting here. There was silence in heaven. And the seven angels before God were given seven trumpets. And there were noise. Now pay attention because you can see the birds, <laughs> the birds flying away. And you know, animals are more spiritual than, than human beings, man. They're still all in order. So you see the birds flying away. So quick recap. He's reading and he's quoting Revelation chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. So let's read that real quick. It says, uh, Revelation chapter 8, verse 1. And when he had opened the seventh seal... There was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour, and I saw the seven angels which stood before the Most High. To them were given seven trumpets. All right, we know that seventh trumpet to be the nuclear missiles. All right, and we're living in the time between the sixth and the seventh trump. All right, we're going to be the, the, the elect is going to be delivered right before that seventh trump. All right, but uh, that's another breakdown for another day. You know, that's a that's a good breakdown right there but let's uh, continue going thunderings lightnings and an earthquake 
Doctor, succeed. You're under arrest. And I heard a great boy. And you see what's funny is his, his name is Joseph. So his brother's name was John, Jacob, and, and there was a chick named Faith. And his name is Joseph. Just to show you how spiritual this game really is. And as you're about to see, it gets even more spiritual. And as you can hear, let's go back a little bit. Let's see if you can hear what's happening. Thunderings, lightnings. You hear the sirens and going? The Joseph said, you're under arrest. And I heard a great voice from the temple say to the angels, go your ways and pour from the vials the wrath of God upon the earth. And what's that wrath that the Most High is going to pour upon the earth? The nuclear ICBM missiles, man. That's the wrath. That's one of the plagues that the Lord is going to bring upon the earth, man. All right. That's what the Lord is getting ready to bring to this earth, man. All right, the Lord is getting ready to bring those missiles, man. The ICBM missiles. And as we're going to see, just like Esau showed here, it's talking about the missiles, man. The scriptures tell you that there's missiles in the scriptures. It's just you boneheaded Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans don't want to believe it. But here it is. Esau showing you in, in movies, man. Esau showing you in games, man. And video games, Esau is showing you this stuff, man. But let's go in and, and, and then we're going to skip a little bit and we're going to go to the end because it gets it continues to get very script, uh, uh, spiritual even until the very end before the credits roll. Because believe it or not, it's not over just yet. And you see that white flash? <laughs> That's exactly what people are going to see when the missiles hit, man. All right. Every eye shall see this destruction, man. And you're going to be a lot of people are going to be blinded by this stuff, man. All right, just as you see here, man, this is a clear white screen. All right, but let's continue. See, he said it is finished, child. And when we see this, you see how in the back you see that that nuclear plume. He said it is finished. That's what exact. That's when we're gonna know that this thing is done, man. That's when we know that these chariots. If you're not already getting beamed up, the elect is, is getting delivered, man. All right. Matter of fact, let's see if, if I can get that preset real quick. If I can remember how it's worded. Um, uh, just bear with me real quick while I read uh, look for this. in the New Testament um, let me just uh, type in the word real quick let's type in trumpet All right, this is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse, um, I'll start at 51. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. And again, this is that last trump, the seventh trump, as you see in the skies, in this video, in the screen, I mean, Salakia. This is talking about that last trump. All right, those nuclear missiles. It says, At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So at this time, at this point in time, we're getting into that point of, of wisdom of, of Solomon chapter 5, man, where we're going to be delivered. Well, the elect is going to be delivered. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number, man. All right, but the, the elect is going, to be, is going to be delivered at this moment, man. All right, the strangeness of our salvation, because the, the so-called UFOs, they're going to come and they're going to deliver the men of the Lord out of this, this, last, this last trump that you see right here, man. 
All right. This is that last trump. This is the seventh trump. Okay. And it says it is finished. He says here it is finished, child. Because that the that means that everything is finished. All everything that's been spoken of in the scriptures, all the destruction that's been spoken of, is been finished, man. Okay. But let's continue. Oh my God. skip a little bit forward more now because it's getting ready to get to another scene where you have to drive off and stuff so let's get to the part where um, where you basically you're driving away as you can see here in the game you have to try to drive away and escape the nuclear blast and more missiles are landing because it's not just that one that you see on the screen there's multiple missiles that start to hit as you play throughout this game and you know things start to catch on fire as that radiation and blast start to get closer until you get to the point to where you crash and then this is the part that we're at so let's play this <laughs> This part, he took you into a bunker, you know, which we know, you know, through the scriptures that not even these bunkers are going to be delivered. They're not even going to get saved. But, you know, you got to pick the, uh, the meat from the bones. So. said he said it you know what this means it means the politicians have been silent so now pay attention to what he's saying because this is very spiritual because this is ultimately when these missiles happen this is what this is what's going to come man these the politicians these governments they're all going to be destroyed everything's going to be destroyed all right all right especially here in babylon all right babylon the great all right that means the corporations have been erased You, you, you see what he said? It said, it means the world has been cleansed by God's righteous fire. By God's righteous fire. Now, let me pull up a, a, a preset real quick. All right. Because, see, this goes to show you that the, you, you people that come up to the camps and you scoff and you say that the missiles aren't in the scriptures and you say that that's not talking about nuclear missiles. Even Esau shows you in these games, man. In a video game, Esau shows you that those missiles is spoken of in the scriptures, man. It's, he said it means the world has been cleansed by God's righteous fire. All right, let's get real quick. How bad? Let's get real quick. I'm gonna get this, and then I'm gonna continue on because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna continue to go into this too much longer. Let's get the judgment of Babylon. Let's see what's gonna happen to Babylon the Great. This is Revelation chapter 17. And uh, let's see how, who's going to be dropping these missiles. It's going to be these other nations, man. All right. These other nations that, 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 that are going to hate America. All right. Talking about the, the EU, these European uh, nations. They're, gonna, they're hating the whore. All right. Iran, Syria, Russia, China, uh, 
North Korea, all these nations that have nuclear missiles, they're going to shoot them here in America. So let's get this real quick because this is going to be what they're going to do to America. Revelation chapter 17 and verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, and that's talking about the EU, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Burn her with fire how? Just like you saw in this video game, the nuclear missiles, man. And he said it here. And it means it means the world has been cleansed by God's righteous fire, man. This is the fire that the Lord promised would come, man. All right, let's let's get that scripture real quick because the Lord flooded the earth the first time. All right, that was the first death. The first death. The second death is going to be by fire because the Lord is a, is a perfect balance. All right. Let me see if I can pull this up. I don't remember the. Um, I don't remember how it's quoted. All right, so this is uh, Revelation. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. It says, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers <clears throat> and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. How is that fire going to get brought upon Babylon the Great? By nuclear missiles. And it says here, which is the second death. That's the second death that's getting ready to come. Because the first time that the Lord destroyed the majority of the earth and only delivered eight people. All right. He brought the death via waters. This time the Lord is getting ready to destroy the the, pretty much the entire earth except for 144,000 men and the rest of the one third of Israel via fire which is the second death okay the first time the death came the first death came by water the second death is going to come by fire all right and that's what this guy just said it means the world has been cleansed cleansed of what the wickedness that this earth is 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 in is going through man this is real quick revelation chapter 18 and um, Revelation 18 and verse five, well, verse four. And I heard, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins." And and this is talking about Babylon the Great, all right, A.K.A. America. And that ye receive not of her plagues. And those missiles are one are, are the major plague that's going to hit this place. All right, Verse 5, and this is the point. For her sins have reached into heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. All right, so this the sins of this kingdom all right, have reached the heavens. All right, the Most High has, has seen this stuff, man. So this place has to be destroyed, man. All right, just like it, it was during the time of Noah. The Most High said, man, the earth is wicked. And there's violence on the earth. And I have to destroy this place, man. And he did it by water. Now, this time is even worse. And the Most High is going to do it by fire this time, okay? And so that's how the earth is going to be cleansed. Just like they said in this video game, man. But let's continue on. And that's the time that we're getting ready to come into, man. He said, but most of all, it means that I was right, man. All right. And we're getting ready, though. The prophets of Yahweh Bashim Shai are getting ready to come into the time of the greatest I told you so, man. All right. That's the times that we're getting ready to come to. All right. Because just like you just saw in this video game, the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Shai have been saying this for years, man, for decades, that missiles are going to come and destroy this kingdom, man. All right. And we're like, 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 like he just said, and like the spirit has always has been saying, man, like brothers and elders have been saying, man, 
It's going to be the greatest I told you so, man. All right? Let's continue. The collapse has come. The collapse has come, see? Esau, like the scriptures say, Esau is the end of a thing, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. All right? The collapse that's coming is the end of Esau, man. The e end of Esau's reign. And Jacob, the Israelites, are going to be the beginning of it that followeth. Meaning, we're going to be the rule. We're going to be in rulership when, the, when all this chaos comes in, um, to an end, man. All right, as you're getting ready to find out here in, in this video, he's getting ready to say it, man. All right, he says the world as we know it, as we know it, is over. Yep. See, he saw the end of, uh, of the I world. Wait so long. All right. He said, the scriptures say Esau is the end of, of the world and Jacob is the following, is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. The world, you go into that word world is eon. All right. Meaning uh, um, an era. Okay. And he says, now he says, I waited so long and man, it's going to be such a great feeling with the, the, when the, the apostles on down, man. When we see these missiles and we see these things happen to these to this world, man. To Esau, man. To Esau's rulership, man. You're gonna see the same feeling that this guy says, time magnified times times seven, man. All right. I waited so long for the prophecy that God whispered in my ear to be fulfilled. You see, <laughs> he said, I waited so long for the prophecy that the that the Most High whispered in my ear, man. And what whispered into the ear? The Spirit, man. The Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Because through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we were given the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to understand these scriptures, to know what the prophecies meant, man. And the prophet, especially starting from the apostles, man, they've been waiting and waiting and laboring, man. Along with you brothers that have been in this truth, sincerely serving the Lord, man. Pushing, man. We've been waiting for these prophecies to happen, man. Imagine that feeling you're going to have when, the, when it actually happens, man. It's going to be beautiful, man. Okay? Let's keep on. I prepared my family for this moment. And you took them from me. So he, prepared, he was preparing his family for this, but he, he saw came and took them from me. I should kill you for what you've done. 